So word on YouTube is y'all miss hearing your girl's voice. <laughs> well, I am back, you guys, and doing voiceovers again. My client today is a loyal client. She has been having some minor breakouts. So this is a maintenance treatment as usual. She does work out. She eats healthy and consumes her daily water intake as she should. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this treatment. I'm gonna start her treatment off by using Image Skincare, the Illuma Intense Brightening Exfoliating Cleanser. This is by far one of my favorite personal cleansers as well, so I would be doing my clients an injustice if I did not use this cleanser on them too. So, this cleanser does have mushroom-derived enzymes, bamboo spheres, and it has smart sensing beads that gently exfoliate dull skin. This cleanser is super creamy and cushiony, so you will not have to worry about it stripping your skin. Y'all know I add my sponges in with almost every treatment. Some people were asking me if I was no longer using the sponges, but I am at the time while I was filming, I had just ran out and needed to restock. Whew, you guys, I have an extremely exciting vacation coming up. Uh, it's Sunday right now. I'm editing this video. And my trip is Wednesday and I will be vlogging. So I'm so happy to get back into the motion of doing vlogs, travel vlogs, all of that. Next, I'm going to use the Glycolic Cleanser from SkinScript. This is a foamy cleanser that is infused with a combination of alpha hydroxy acids. It also helps to renew the skin by removing the uppermost layer of dead skin cells to reveal a bright and smooth surface. This cleanser is the type of cleanser where you only maybe incorporate it may at the max like once a week, two times a week if you are like extremely oily and or if you have like deeper uh, wrinkles and fine lines because this cleanser is active. Now I'm using the Lemon Zest Enzyme from SkinScript. This has 8% Arbutin, 6% Lactic Acid, 3% Glycolic Acid, and 2% Kojic Acid. This is designed for normal and dry skin with pigmentation. It promotes deep hydration that protects from environmental damage while relieving the surface signs of aging. Arbutin and Kojic Acid provide extreme lightening capabilities. Also, with it being that it has that lemon in it, it's also an antioxidant, anti-aging, brightens, and exfoliates. This is by far, I think, my favorite enzyme because y'all know I'm all about healthy, brightening of the skin, evening of the skin, and this does just that. By the way, this enzyme stays on the skin for about 10 minutes with steam if my client is comfortable with it. There are times where I need to either turn the steamer down because the steamer that I have now, I can control how much steam you know comes out of the steamer or I'll just turn the steamer off or if they want the cooler fans to be on their face to keep their face cool, I will do that as well. Once I have completely removed the enzyme, I am going to tone with the Cucumber Hydration Toner from SkinScript. It has heavy water and hyaluronic acid in it, which helps to hydrate the skin immensely. And it also helps to cool and calm the skin back down. Along with cooling and calming the skin down, the toner also helps to balance the surface lipids, assist in boosting hydration levels, and it also provides a probiotic support to the skin's acid mantle to help support acne skin.
For the mask, I'm going to be using Skin Scripts Autumn Spice Hydrating Mask. This mask has nutmeg to soothe inflammation, which is amazing, especially after extractions. Yet, it is also antibacterial, which is also really, really great. This mask also has cinnamon in it, which creates a warming sensation on the skin, while the mangosteen, honeysuckle, and passion flower provide the anti-aging benefits for healthy, nourished skin. I allow the mask to sit on the skin for 15 to 20 minutes to really work its magic so we can obtain the best results possible. I would like to ask while I'm filming and I have everyone's attention, is there any other type of content that you would all like to see on my YouTube channel? Now I know like my Instagram, my Leah Lee page is more so for, you know, everything outside of skincare and then my plan by Leah Lee Instagram is, you know, solely dedicated to skincare, not necessarily just the skin on the face, but overall body. Um, so is there any type of content that y'all would like to see? I know a lot of people are like really into the home Amazon, you know, finds and all of that. Clothing, I do plan on doing like a haul, some type of haul that's incorporated into a vlog. That way it's not too like old fashioned haul-y. If y'all know what I'm saying, where I'm just sitting there trying on clothes, telling y'all how it feels. Like I think that style of content is a little played out now i think it's you know had its time and ran its course so if pause is something that you want to see or just more more out and about more me being on the camera less treatment room y'all let me know i am toning again with the cucumber hydration toner Coming to the end of this treatment, I am going to use the Skin Scripts Hydrating Moisturizer with Shea Butter, Rose Hip, and Aloe. This moisturizer improves the appearance of wrinkles with intense hydration. It also binds moisture into the skin, soothes, calms, and strengthens capillaries. In addition to this moisturizer, I am using the Self Care by LL restorative elixir oil which is now ready for pre-order and expected to be shipped out by january 20th this is a plant oil that has a strong antioxidant property which gives the ability to defend the skin from environmental stressors it has a beautiful lightweight fragrance from the natural botanical extract and it is non-comedogenic this elixir oil also has multiple uses you can use it on the skin the hair and the body Lastly, from Image Skincare, I am using the Ormetic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. This is by far one of the most complimented products that everybody is so pleased to have on their lips and finish off their treatment. I think no one is actually uh, expecting to receive a lip treatment, but to add on to that, nobody expects for it to feel as good as it does on the lips. This is also available for purchase on glambylealee.com. I hope y'all enjoyed this treatment. I am back on the mic, y'all. I really hope y'all appreciate this voiceover. <laughs> um, and I look forward to sharing so much more content this year outside of just skincare um, and outside of just the treatment room. So I hope y'all look forward to that. Make sure you follow me on all of my platforms. TikTok, both of my Instagrams. I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.